My name is Steve Pinker. I am a professor in the Department of Psychology. My name is Tom Conley, at least that's what they tell me. My name is, and it was a name that was given to me. My name is Lorraine Starrett. I'm Dean for Administration here in Harvard College. I uh, am a keeper of dogs, as you can see, and also a co-master at the Kirkland House, where uh, uh, we are right now. I'm delighted to be reading a story today for any children out there who might happen to like this story, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. If You Give a Mouse a Cookie is an example of what linguists call the ditransitive construction in English. For many reasons, how this construction works in English and how children acquire it have been a topic of considerable interest, and I spent a good chunk of my life trying to figure out how ditransitive verbs work. Uh, all the more reason that I will enjoy reading If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask you for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, he'll probably ask you for a straw. And when he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Very good, very, very good mouse, very educated mouse. Then, he want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. He may even end up washing the floors as well. You can do that right here. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. So you'll read to him from one of your books, and he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw one of his own, and so he'll ask for paper and crayons. He'll draw a picture. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name with a pen. Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him uh, that <laughs> he's thirsty. So he'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, he's going to want a cookie to go with it. Cookie, come. Let's have a cookie. Let's have a cookie. Bella, come, get your cookie. There. We don't have mice, but we have, well, bigger versions of them.